A few months ago, at a meeting of the Hawaii 2050 Task Force, someone asked a group of nine student participants how many of them saw themselves in Hawaii at the age 35. Now, these student members are all in Hawaii public and private schools and represent some of our finest young minds. And faced with that question, not one raised their hand, not one. None of them saw a future here at home. Now, I have nothing but respect for these young men and women. I think I share the opinion of the entire task force that they are doing our state a great service by participating in developing our Hawaii of tomorrow. But I tell you, I intend to prove them wrong. If we cannot make Hawaii a place where our best and brightest can build a rewarding future, then we will have failed, and we will not fail, and we cannot fail. Last year, I told you about a photo I kept next to my computer. It's a photo of Nick Smith, who graduated from Waianae High School after participating in the highly acclaimed Sea Rider Productions program. Nick went off to college at the Art Institute in Santa Monica to pursue a career in media production. Well, Nick has graduated from the Art Institute. He is an extremely talented young man, and I have no doubt that he has many opportunities on the mainland to build a great career. But Nick is here today, and not only Nick, but the rest of what I call the Sea Rider kids. They went off to college and are also joining us today. They are Sam Kapoi and Solomon Alfapata. Nick, Sam, and Solomon, please rise to be recognized. Nick, Sam, and Solomon came home to Hawaii. And it's not just because they truly believe that they can find careers here, but because they are dedicated to helping build an industry that will offer similar opportunities to other talented young people in the future. They will be among those who will help instill the sense of pride, that sense of ownership, and most importantly, that sense of hope in their generation and the next they are here making that extra effort. Also joining us are student leaders from 32 middle and high schools across our state. They are here today at the invitations of their respective senators. These are the leaders of tomorrow. Will our student leaders please stand to be recognized? All of you, please. When we talk about sustainability, when we look at the future and plan for our preferred Hawaii, they are what we are really talking about. The Hawaii of their future, a Hawaii that provides for them and the families they will raise, a Hawaii with strong economic opportunities, a clean, supportive, natural environment, a place to live and a place to work for these young people and the generations that come after them. We are not going to let them down. We cannot let them down. I'm not going to let Nick, Sam, and Solomon down. We as policymakers and community leaders can bring this state together to overcome the fear that divides us. And instead, we need to ignite the pride, the shared purpose, and the hope that is the driving force behind our efforts. For the leaders of tomorrow, we must provide leadership today. This is truly a time for great leaders, a time to demonstrate the determination to master our destiny, a time for a vision that extends beyond our immediate needs and our petty differences. And the effort cannot be limited to this room or the square capitol building. A sustainable Hawaii is Hawaii that we will share. This time, 
there is no them. It is all us. This time, we all play for the same team. And the victory is our future. Thank you very much. <laughs>